This uh, little mini lecture tells you how to um, change the dialysate sodium content uh, for a CVVH solution. Uh, if you have a patient who has acute renal failure requiring CVVH and also has an extremely abnormal sodium, either high or low, uh, you don't want to change that sodium too much. If they have hypernatremia and you lower it too fast, you'll cause cerebral edema. If they have hyponatremia and you'll raise it too fast, you'll get central pontine myelinolysis, or at least put the patient at risk for those things. So you'll need to adjust the sodium concentration so it's not so far from plasma that you get overly rapid correction. To do this, uh, this is the basic formula. Um, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to say that the um, final concentration times the final volume, that's the concentration of sodium, is going to equal the dialysate concentration times volume of dialysate plus the concentration of sodium in the additive times the volume of the additive. Essentially what we're saying is the total amount of sodium in the final solution is going to be equal to the total amount of sodium in the dialysate plus the total amount of sodium in the additive. And uh, Well the second formula in which we'll calculate the volume and the volume of the final solution is just going to equal the volume of the additive plus the volume of the dialysate. We'll do two cases. We'll do a hyponatremia case in which the final concentration needs to be 120 and a hypernatremia case in which the target sodium concentration of your dialysate is 160. So uh, what we have is we have six variables. Four of those variables are known Two of them are unknown, and we have two equations, and so we should be able to solve this with algebra. So let's do the hyponatremia case first. We're going to get a final sodium concentration of 120. This would be a good dialysate if the patient's sodium was 108, 110 range. Uh, you wanted to bring it up about 12 milliequivalents in that first day, and so this uh, the sodium won't go higher than that 120 unless you're doing additional therapies. So we will input all of our variables into that top equation. So the concentration of the final solution will be 120 milliequivalents per liter of sodium. The final volume will be 5 liters. The concentration of sodium to begin with is 140 times the volume of dialysate plus uh, the additive will be D5W, which is a sodium content of 0 times the volume of the additive. Um, the second equation is going to be, uh, we'll get a total volume of 5 liters, which will be made up of the additive and the dialysate. And then we will just rearrange that to solve for the volume of dialysate. And then we will take that volume of dialysate and we will substitute it back into the first equation. And so it'll look something like this. I've already started to block off um, the sodium content of the additive. The concentration is zero. It doesn't matter what the volume is. It's going to contribute no sodium. To this equation and so that can just be crossed off. Let's go to a clean, page, clean piece of paper. This is what it looks like and what we'll do is we'll now start to do the math. 120 times 5 is 600, 140 times 5 is 700, and then 140 times uh, the volume of the additive looks like that. We will solve for the uh, volume of the additive and the equation will be rearranged like that. We will then uh, divide 100 by 140 to get our final answer. So you will need to add 710 cc's of D5W to 4.29 liters of your dialysate and you'll get a final sodium concentration of 120. And so at our institution, um, pharmacy prepares the bags and you would just instruct them, please remove 710 cc's from the dialysate and then replace those 710 cc's with D5W. We can do the hypernatremia case here. The final concentration of your sodium will be 160. Um, the dialysate concentration is 140. The additive in this case will be 3% saline, which has a sodium concentration of 513 milliequivalents per liter. And again, our final volume will be 5 liters. Um, and so here's the uh, uh, initial... Uh, equation with the variable substituted in and the second equation with the volume of 5 liters and we'll again solve for the volume of dialysate and then we will substitute that back in. It's a little bit more complex because the um, 
The additive doesn't drop out because it's no longer a zero, but otherwise it looks very similar. Target concentration is 160. We will uh, go to a clean sheet of paper. Uh, this got a little bit out of order. Let's put it back in order. So um, here we have, we have uh, uh, 160 times 5 is 800. Um, and that's the only step we did there. And then in the next step, we started to multiply that 140 through its, um, uh, uh, factoring that through. So you get 700 minus 140 um, V additive plus 513 V additive. And since this is all addition, we can just add right those, those right through. So you get um, 373 times the volume of the additive. We can solve for the volume of the additive. And then you take 100 divided by 373 and you get 0.27 liters of 3% added to 4.73 liters of your dialysate to get a final sodium concentration of 160 millicoulons per liter. After we had gone through this with the team today, I've declared every member of my consult team sodium ninjas. Thank you.